the future, well, not really, but it is kind of, um, I'm just about to edit this video and I just wanted to say that I'm really, really sorry that we um, didn't get this video out on time. Um, there were a few small issues with it that we wanted to fix and try and make it as per good as possible for you guys. So it's finally ready and I really hope you enjoy because it was loads of fun to film. Hello, welcome back to another video. Um, today we have got a, if I'm honest, I just dread this video. I wish I didn't really, I wish I didn't suggest it. Um, I regret it already and we haven't even started, but it's gonna be loads of fun for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. Um, so I've got to do a bit of preparation for the video. Um, so while I'm doing that, I thought it'd be great to have a little talky bit at the beginning rather than at the end. Um, but you definitely want to carry on watching because we are doing the worst challenge in the world, but it should be really, really, really fun. So keep watching. Um, so we are going to do the eat it or wear it challenge. That is basically what it is. You basically have to decide whether you want to eat it or wear it. So I've got a variety of different foods. Um, we've got some really nice foods like this donut, delicious. We've got a pizza in the oven, which is cooking. Oh, look at that. That actually looks really nice. Um, and basically, we're going to take it in turns to decide whether we want to eat something or wear something. I don't know how we're going to do this. I think we might end up having to sit in the bathtub because I'm not sure we can do it. But anyway, so as I'm sure you all know, well, you should know if you've been watching these videos, we like to include some sort of Christian sort of topic on it um, because we're Christians and these videos are in place of our Sunday morning. Um, ah, this cut will not open. Oh, ow! These videos are in place of a um, of our Sunday morning youth group, which we do a Bible study and we chat about. We do we do quite a lot of stuff there. Um, so instead, as we can't physically meet, I'm putting that video. Do you know what? This is actually not working out. I am going to come back to you and we're going to speak about this while the pizza's finished because this did not take me as long as I thought, and I keep getting distracted. So I'll be back in a minute. Okie dokie. So everything is prepared, um, and I am just going to chat to you about a few things um yeah so I hope you can see me I will insert a picture here of how my phone which is the camera which I film on is uh being held up because I don't have a tripod it broke and um it looks really funny so <laughs> I thought I'd show you but please bear with me because it does mean that um it might fall over any minute or stop filming because it did that last time. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so not last week, uh, but the week before when I did the uh, Boss Controls My Life or 24 Hour Challenge video, um, we spoke about how God was in control, but he was never controlling. And I spoke about how that means that God has a plan for our lives, um, but he loves us so much that he gives us free will and then we can decide whether we want to um, follow that plan or not. Well, today I want to follow that kind of and talk about how God has a plan for us um, and because of that, he knows what is best for us when we might not do. Okay, so Psalm 139 verse 13 says, For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. You saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them even came to be. So God knew our plan and he had our whole lives laid out for us before we were even born or even created. I think that's incredible. Where were we? God now has disappeared for a few seconds, so we'll try again. Um, Oh yeah, so we were created to be in a relationship with him. And if we were created to be in a relationship with him, it means that our whole lives should be spent pursuing him and trying to get closer to him. If we were created to be in a relationship with him, we should be spending our whole lives trying to get closer to him and trying to get to know him better. Not only should we be trying to get closer to him, but we should also be spending our lives trying to fulfill his will for us. I think it's safe to say that as humans, we are not all knowing. We cannot see the whole picture of our lives, 
or the plan for our lives because we don't know what's going to come tomorrow or in a year from now or in 10 years from now. However, as time goes on, we start to see more and more and more. For example, only two years ago, I had no idea who or if I was going to marry anyone. Now, two years later, I'm about to marry Sam in like 12 days or something. <laughs> so the plan becomes clearer. But sometimes within that plan, we have to make decisions. Again, I had to decide whether I was going to say yes or no when Sam asked me to marry him. But how did I make that decision and know that it was the right decision to make for my relationship with Jesus? So an amazing thing about God is that he knows the whole picture for everyone. He is the only being that is all knowing. And as we know, God speaks to us and he likes to share some of his knowledge with us. So when we get a decision facing us and we don't know what to do, God does know exactly what we should do and what is good for our relationship with him. And that's it. That is how we figure out what to do. We ask God. So one thing that we know is that God never wants something bad for us. He never calls us into a situation which causes burnout or breakdowns or anything like that at all. His will for our lives is always good and perfect. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. So if we want to know if a decision is good or bad for us, we can look out for these things. We can see whether that decision causes anxiety, stress or worry or hopelessness. Or does the decision cause peace and excitement and hope and joy? We can also pray. As we pray, we get closer to God and therefore we get to know him better and better. And he also loves to answer our prayers. Sometimes he can answer in such obvious ways. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to hear but you can still see the answer. And other times he doesn't answer straight away. But that in itself is an answer. When he doesn't answer straight away, it could be because he wants us to trust in him more, or it could be because he wants us to dig deeper into the question. Another thing that we can do to help us make the right decisions is to read the Bible. Despite the Bible being written thousands of years ago, it can still answer our questions today. So many times have I had a question or I've been upset or worried about something and I've opened up the Bible and the first or second verse is something which counteracts that, wor uh, that worry or sadness or answers my question straight away. So when you face a decision and you don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing for your relationship with Jesus, look out for these things and see what God is saying. How does it make you feel? Pray about it. What can you hear God say? Read the Bible. Dig deep into reading the Bible. See what you can find in there. The great thing is you don't have to do this all by yourself. Sometimes God can talk to other people for you. And so don't feel like you're alone in the, these big situations. If you're struggling, reach out to one of your friends or a pastor at church or um, your parents or your siblings and see whether they can pray with you and read the Bible with you and see what they think is right for you in that moment. Right, we have got two minutes and 52 seconds left on the timer for the pizza and then it's time to play eat it or wear it. So I'm gonna go set up, we're gonna sit in the bathroom because it's easiest to clean up. So I'm gonna go set that up, set that up and we'll be back in a little bit with um, the game. Okay, so it all set up and I'm going to show you what we've got. Um, we are in the bathroom because <laughs> we're hoping to sit on the ledge there and then we can just shower it off. <laughs> but I, I don't know how I feel about sitting in the bathroom where people poop and pee. It's a bit freaky. Um, so these are what we've got. We have got some sandwich spread, sandwich spread, some uh, gherkins, some mayonnaise, a donut, some jam. Um, some chocolate aero balls, some cold spaghetti hoops, some sweet things, um, an avocado, which are, is mine and Sam's worst fruit ever, um, some jelly, some lemon juice in an egg cup, um, some nice warm pizza and some spam, which has been covered up because it stinks. I'm so scared. <laughs> okay. 
So we are in position we're in the bar. <laughs> I think this is the weirdest thing. I think I regret this more than you cutting and dyeing my hair. <laughs> I'm regretting this too. And right? um, just to let you know, the spam smells so bad, I want to throw up. <laughs> so this is going to be great fun. So the rules are, in this bowl, we have got uh, pieces of paper with the item or food. We're going to take it in turns to take a piece of paper out, read it, and then decide whether we're going to eat it or wear it. Um, we are allowed one glass of water each, so we've both got a glass of water, um, and the rule is if you eat it, you're not allowed to spit it out. If you throw up, please do not throw up in the bath, because I am not wearing shoes, so you've got to lean over and do it in the sink, okay? <laughs> I do not want sick on my shoes. But the aim of us sitting here is that we can um, clean up the mess. However, there's not actually that much messy stuff, is there? No. That's messy, that's messy. Yeah, that's there's not fair. that much. Although, to be fair, pizza in your hair wouldn't be that much, so I'm sure you can smush avocado and spam around. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Right, should we rock, paper, scissors it to see who goes yeah. first? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yay! So who goes first? I get to choose. Um, I want to go first. Oh. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Avocado. <laughs> Go on, get avocado. 
Put this on toast. Do you want to eat it or wear it? If you eat it, you have to eat like a big bite in the middle out of that. Nah, I'll wear that. Okay, give it to me then. Are you ready? Are you steady? Is avocado in your hair meant to be good for you? Ah, it's failed compared <laughs> to me getting spam in my hair. I am very offended. Also, my mouth keeps going numb from the lemon juice, that was so strong. So, the camera stopped filming after I smushed avocado in Sam's head. Which, um, which means you've missed loads because we didn't think to check it that soon. Uh, so, since then I have had mayonnaise been put on me and beans been put on me. And Sam, a, I don't think you saw him eat the donut. Um, and <laughs> it's donut. your turn now, isn't it? It is my turn now. It's your turn now. One key. We're it's good. It's not only one key. It's not that one key, no. Okay. Okay. Sam's gonna get back in the bath. He had to do it because um, he is not covered in a million different things. Nope. Only avocado, and it doesn't even look that bad compared to what I've gone through. So, you better get something bad. Oh, bad one. Yeah! He gets sandwich spread. That is his worst thing ever. I honestly almost vomit every time and I norm smell it. Normally he only has like that much. So, you wearing it? Yeah, you are. Are you ready? Actually, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Is that enough? Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's just sweet. It's just not nice. Okay, your time. Have we dropped one, maybe? I don't know, but I feel like all the things that are left are nice. Again, if we go to McDonald's, you get my gherkins. I do. Are you going to no, eat, go eat it? I'm, I'm wearing them. You're wearing them? I'm wearing them. You don't just want to eat one? No. Okay, got them. Go on. Smush it right into the sandwich spread. Yeah, but don't stab me with a fork. I'm not stabbing a fork. <laughs> I'm getting all the gherkins. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I'm getting all the gherkins. Getting all the gherkin juice out. Oh no, it's not. It's on my ear. Okay, there is one left each, which means one of these things someone's not having. Should we do it at the but same time? The only things left are the sweets and the chocolate <laughs> and the jelly. So we'll do it at the same time and see what each other get because this will be there with a seat. Aaron, my favourite. Jelly snake. I must have forgotten to write down one for jelly. So, because you guys unfortunately missed out on probably the funniest bits of the video of the spaghetti hoops and the mayonnaise going over my head, um, I have been a really good person. <laughs> no, I haven't. Um, I thought we could recreate. Oh, hiccups. <clears throat> I thought I could recreate it. So we scooped up the mayonnaise and the spaghetti hoops, and Sam 
It's gonna pour over my head again. And do you know what? I am just as nervous as the first time, so um yeah. Oh no. We're gonna start with mayonnaise. Oh no. Oh the sandwich bread just fell on my neck. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, how am I doing this again? Oh, oh that's so gross. that actually we have gone we're not just making this up it is really bad so i'm going to show you the inside of my bath there you go can you see oh, it's, oh i don't know how we're going to clean this up it's even on the floor oh no um and this is the state of my knees and then my hair can you see i can't bend down it's going to fall off can you see yeah. how bad that is delightful and then this is sam I definitely had it a lot worse because that's all that Sam's got, which I don't think is that bad considering, look at the state of me. Oh, can you see us? I hope you can. Thanks so much for watching guys. Um, despite it being horrible, I think we actually kind of had fun. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next week for another video. Bye. Because I had it worse off than Sam, he's cleaning it up for me. And he is literally having to crouch in the bath to try and scoop it all up before we put water so it doesn't go down the drain. I've just stood in sandwich bread. <laughs>